Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Spin Rest C1, and this is the big weekend in Tokyo, where we're at the Tokyo Auto Salon. I'm getting ready to go in. Uh, it is really, really crowded today. Lots of cars are still filling up. This guy's got an awesome fit right here, and I'm parked next to a 660, and I got the Type R over here. And I'm just about to go in and uh, meet up with some friends and uh, check out some cool cars. I'm gonna be taking some pics, put a little soundtrack BGM music to this, and uh, hopefully you can enjoy the video. And of course, there are gonna be lots of girls there. I feel like naked girls. There are plenty of girls here today. So stay tuned, follow the video. We can make it short and sweet, not too long, but uh, hopefully get you some good content and uh, talk over a few things that I find quite interesting. That's it for now. I gotta leave the parking lot and head inside. Well, clip number two. Traffic was hellish this morning, trying to get here. Nine o'clock in the morning, January 10th, and we are finally in the building. Uh, here we are at Makahari Mese. This is one of the biggest convention halls in the Tokyo area. There are three. If you ever come to Tokyo and you want to go to uh, the Tokyo Auto Show, that's at Tokyo, big site. But that's relatively tame to what we're about to see here today. Okay, again, the place is quite huge. As I take you down, me and some friends got the event guide here. Uh, this guy's got some pretty cool stuff. It's not as crowded now as it is on like Saturday or Sunday. So that's why you want to come here on Friday. It costs a little bit more to get the ticket, but plenty of room to record. Uh, this is like an annual tradition for me to come to Tokyo Auto Salon. I can't tell you how many times I've actually been to this event, but it's good every year. Especially not just the pavilions, but of course, all the makers that I'm interested in. Fujisubo, Blitz, Exida, Grupp. Yeah, it's going to be a good day today. Because really I can just kind of relax a little bit more and take my time. Immediately walking in get hit with the Toyota Supra and it is absolutely beautiful this is a Blitz Supra and damn they did a good job on this car this year totally awesome again on display here lots of different parts various things that you can get for your car of course Blitz strut bars dampers coilovers you name it it's all right here now we don't actually buy this stuff here but definitely uh you enjoy the time how's it going konnichiwa yeah and of course you can see the paparazzis over there they're taking pictures of all the uh, idols and the girls are pretty they are i'm not really into filming them but yeah it's a happy day here uh there are things that you can buy there are lots of little small souvenir shops you buy t-shirts keychains carbon parts and uh yeah it's a relatively fun event to come out to. I mean, yeah, I think this is one of the best that Tokyo offers up. And you get to see some really, really sick cars and mods. You definitely want to come out here. Okay, let me start taking some pictures. Put together some more content. Again, all the pretty girls smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy day, happy day. Yeah, there you go. Don't forget that they're people. They're cool people, regular people. Oh my god. This shit is sick as fuck. Excuse my French. I might have to blip that on the video. But yeah, we're looking at the HKS Supra. We've got a couple of them here today. A couple years ago, it was all about the Type R. This year, it's definitely about the Supra. If any of you guys who are in America who went to uh, SEMA, <laughs> Eat your heart out. I mean, you guys did a good job, but we're in Tokyo. This is all about JDM. This is where you want to be. I'm loving it. I'm a kid in a candy store right now. Oh, the Falcon model's nice and tall. Yes. She's been eating her Wheaties, people. <laughs> I don't know where she got Wheaties, because they don't really have Wheaties in Japan, but she's been eating them. Come on over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Proud of yourself. I don't blame you. 
Yeah, yeah. Didn't I just say like a second ago that I was going to start taking some pictures? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. I think I said I was going to take some pictures. <laughs> and then I got distracted by Supras. <laughs> oh God, I just did a Donald Trump. I hope you guys don't hear me breathe. All right. I'm, I'm going to take pictures. I, I promise I'm going to take pictures. Just after I get all these beautiful models. I'm going to take more pictures. Okay. I have just made it to the Varus booth. Now, Varus is one of the number one makers of carbon body kits here in Japan. And what they make is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at their Supra today. Let's take a look at the front lip spinner, splinter on this Varus here. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. And those canards. Good choice of wheels on here. Again, one thing that I like about Varus bonnets is that they usually come vented. Uh, they do not have the Type R today, but that's okay. Again, this today's event focuses heavily on the Supra, and we all knew that coming in today. But look at the vents on that grill. Oh man, that is sick. That is so good. Looking real good. <coughs> Colors are amazing. Okay. And this is really important here. Yeah. I like the new, but I love the old. The MK4 Supra is still gonna be one of the most popular Supras ever made. Simply because it's just this is a car made by Toyota versus that car over there, which is made by BMW. Uh Again, this is a straight line car compared to the newer Supra, which definitely you can get that other one sideways a little bit better than this one. I love it. Okay, we're going to come over here now to the Ray's Pavilion. Again, Ray's, that's my favorite wheel right now. I absolutely love it. Let's take a look at what they got here. Oh, yeah. Plenty of beautiful wheels to choose from. Oh, that is freaking awesome. Yeah. Poplar spot, very cramped space, but always good. Uh, here's your Volk racing line over here. TE 37s always for the win. And we got the Graham lights back over here on this wall. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Looking so good. It's awesome. Let me get some pics. Okay. Uh, maybe this is clip number four. I'm now at... Uh, Nissan's pavilion. Sorry, I kind of backed up too far. Not a good shot. But yeah, they've got the Fair Lady Z up on stage. 50th anniversary for that car. And also the GTR over here. Looks so good. But something's missing. What is missing? A seated GTR is here. Ah, now I know what's missing. Carlos Ghosn is missing. Because he's gone. <laughs> what a blow. But, you know, kind of detach yourselves from that scandal. Nissan makes some of the best racing cars in the world. Very high quality. And look at this Motel Alltech here. Yo! Fly like a demon. Occasionally you see some really funky stuff. <laughs> All right, let's take some more pictures. All right, clip number five. I want to talk about this particular company here. Uh, this company is called Lao Beat Rush, based out in Yokohama, okay? And last year, 
I was here at the Tokyo Auto Salon and I saw this particular Type R. And it was this Type R that made me want to get the interior parts that I have in my car. I don't know if they still have them here. Yes, they do still have them here today. So I'm just gonna take a look inside. So you can see uh, these floor plates, aluminum floor plates. This is where I got the idea from. It was this company that made them. And they're here. Uh, when you order them online, they come basically at this color here. So if you want a different color, you need to request it. Lal Beat Rush is very personal for me. So about four or five years ago, this was my car. I had a Swift Sport ZC32S and I got a lot of my torque bars, my stiff bars for the engine bay area from this particular company. And now I drive this car. So you can see why this company is very, very personal for me. Again, they're relatively small, but they make some of the best quality parts. Okay. You can see right here, their FK8 uh, Civic Type R front, front strut brace bar and titanium here with the nice burn and the color right here. Looks so good. Again, everybody's buying Blitz. You're gonna see a lot of people with Blitz, but you have to remember you have options. When you go JDM, you have lots of options. And Beat Rush is a company that you definitely wanna have a look at. Uh, check them out online. Again, they're relatively small, but they make high quality parts. Okay, so that's the end of this clip right here. Again, one last look at their FK8. It just looks absolutely amazing. I love it. I love this color. So sick. And the rear diffuser right here. Oh my God. Look at the exhaust that they put on this thing. It is amazing. All right. Now let's take a look at some of the parts that they have over here for their shift knobs. They've got a lot of different types of shift knobs, aluminum shift knobs, titanium. And wow, this stuff looks so good. I love the colors here. Again, I'm a big fan of racing, but I also have a lot of respect for Beat Rush Lal. So if you're interested, take a look at their homepage. Uh, you can find most of their parts. They sell them on Rakuten, but you may even be able to find them on Yahoo Auction or some other places online, okay? That's it for this clip. Clip number six. Now, most people assume that when you hear the word JDM, automatically you assume that, okay, it's all about sports cars, it's all about drifting, but there's another side to the culture that you need to focus on, and that is the wagonist style. And when it comes to Japan, nobody does it better. I mean, like, the way they lower these things, man, and, and the interiors and all the decoration, it, man, they they just go all out. One car in particular is called the Toyota Hiace, and there is a rival uh, by Nissan, the NV350, but they will just... <laughs> oh, this reminds me of the 80s. <laughs> we used to do this. There was a time when we did this, when we turned like uh, dots and trucks and put hard tops on and then like decorated the interior. It, it was just incredible, but we let that culture go, but Japan never let that culture go. You can see just like the custom setups inside their high ashes. It's just amazing. They, they can do pretty much anything you want. Again, you don't need a Ford F-150 to uh, get your bike to the autocross. <laughs> uh, so once again, this is a different scene here. Uh, a lot of people may not be in touch with this, but it's definitely worth trying. If you did this in the States, you would definitely make heads turn. Uh, passing by the little Hot Wheels and models over here. People come here on Friday just to go to this shop. So many sick custom rides. Look at that right there. Oh my God. All right, and of course another big thing over here in Japan is this. 
this will always be legendary okay the initial D fans out there you can go crazy right now you can smash your like button you can hit your comments right now because this is it a Hachi Roku Treno Sprinter and look at the engine bay it is absolutely sparkling inside right now I haven't seen one this clean in a very very long time it is an absolutely beautiful car Okay, let's take a look. We're going to do a little bit of a walk around on this car. Oh my God, look, look at the rims here. Now, again, one thing that has always been consistent with the Japanese car market is the pride in their vehicles. There was a time in Japan when all you would see is taxi drivers like cleaning their cars, okay? And so this is no exception. But again, this is a Tokyo Auto Salon, so you really got to stand out. And so they made sure that this car is absolutely beautiful. Check out the Recaro seats inside. Oh man, that two-tone combination there, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh, what a pleasure it would be just to drive this car, just to get it out on the toge in the, up near Fuji or Akage or Chichibu. This is where you want to take your car. Oh. Look at that. And they got the 2020 thing there. there. Yeah, that's right. Let's not forget, Summer Olympics are coming to Tokyo. And many people are coming to Tokyo to see the Olympic Games. But a lot of people are coming out here to see the Japanese car scene, okay? And so this is what you're going to see. Some really, really sick cars. I mean, oh, there's plenty here. I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I, I just absolutely love it. It's amazing. Check out the audio system over here. Uh, what are we looking at here? Oh my God, this guy. Oh, I, I think it's a flat screen there. <laughs> Couple of, is that a Pioneer system? I think, no, I'm not sure yet. But man, the audio here is absolutely sick. Look at that wide body kit. Oh my God. Check out the interior. Oh, that is, oh, that's crazy. Oh, I'm loving that. that is so sick. Okay. So we're looking at a Crown here, Toyota Crown RS. In addition to all that audio and weight that he's pulling, this car is really, really fast. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Again, there, we're gonna have classics as well. Lots of classic skylines. So much stuff to talk about here. I'm trying to keep this clip, this video short, but it's really, really difficult to make this video short because there's so much content here today. There's so many vehicles to see. <laughs> and everybody's got their own little thing that they're doing. Oh my God, look at that right there. I'm sexy and you know it. <laughs> God, that is awesome. Looks so good. So, so good. All right, Honda fans, Type R fans. I'm here. Honda racing. And here I'm at the Honda Pavilion. This is what you waited to see on this video. This is what you clicked over to see because you didn't want to watch the rest of that content that I posted earlier with all those Supras. Here we are at the Honda Pavilion. I'm gonna walk around this place and let you guys see everything again. Let's go over to the NSX first, as the NSX is always one of the most popular Hondas ever. This yellow that it's in today is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm loving it. It's amazing. I don't love the price tag, but I do love the car. Okay. We don't know if this is gonna be the future where these hybrid vehicles vehicles with the engines and plus the electric engines but it always looks really really slick okay that looks so good let's take a walk uh, they have the Honda good shop over here I know some of you guys wish you could be here and spend your money lots of cool Mugen stuff here okay how much money have I given Honda I'm not sure I have given them a lot that's for sure Okay. Let's take a look at the race cars here. 
Oh yeah. That is beautiful. And the 2020 Super GT NSX from the front. Absolutely beautiful. Ah. And the car we all know and love. Okay. Our Type R. It's amazing. But there's something over there. There's something under that cover. And I definitely want to get a look at it. I'm going to stick around to see that debut. There's something special over there. Okay, hold on. Okay. Alright, uh, I'm here at a automotive school in Japan, which is Nats, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about this car. So what, what car are you talking about? Are you talking about this car here? Yeah. Alright. I'm just helping. You're just helping? These, these students here, you made this car? Yes. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so, so can I ask why? Why are you holding uh, this particular picture here? Is this the original car? Yes, that's the base. So the this base was the base? Car. Yes, this and, base car. And then you converted it to this? Yes, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, this yeah, is yeah. before, oh, oh, after. Oh, yeah. Before, yes. after. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you did an amazing job. It looks really, really good. We, want to, we want to make... Uh, uh, sorry, they want to make uh, open A90 Supras, so they put two spaces. Okay, wow. Are you guys going to put some NOS in there? Are you guys going to get some yeah. NOS? Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, this your, that's your NOS can yeah, right there? Or your air? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. That's the biggest in Japan. So can I, can I ask, how long did it take to make this car? About six or nine months. Six or nine months from this to this. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Thank you very much for sharing your story about this car, okay? Thank you. Alright, I think this is gonna be the final clip for today. Uh I'd like to show you guys the Veris Honda Civic Type R FK8. And wow, this is the full and complete kit, okay? Let's just take a little walk around the car. First, uh, we'll take a look at the bonnet, okay? Open, vented, and pretty much all carbon. This is also painted as well. And down here, let's take a look at these rays. Uh, those look so good right next to the canards. We're going to take a look at that front lip in just a minute. Uh, here's a side skirt by Varus. It's again all carbon. Looks really, really good. I'm surprised that they don't have anything for the side mirrors yet, but maybe that's coming. Let's walk around to the back. Okay, they're still using the stock tail lights, but uh, let's take a look at the diffuser they have here and this looks like the HKS L-Spec exhaust on the rear okay and of course our Varus wing here looking really really good here it's a really high mount wing there take a look at the mounting kit right there that's sick you love carbon that's sick okay let's continue around your sponsors sitting on Potenzas and now I want to focus on the front lip kit because this is where it's at it's really really epic now my own type R I have the stock kit uh, for the front grill here I'm using a Sabon grill from the United States but for the bottom here definitely I may want to go with this Varus kit in the future and get the canards everything all set up it looks really really aggressive okay the only thing that I would worry about with this particular lip is you know it's protruding out and so you're definitely gonna scratch it up a little bit but it looks so good 
Uh, let's take a look at one other thing to uh, focus on. The side bumper here in the front, of course now they have this mesh grill here and just a single light. Uh, this is for me, this is the first time that I've seen this particular kit and uh, it looks much much better than stock, than the stock honeycomb plastic. So that is something that you may want to consider. And of course this is all open in the front as well. The whole kit looks great on the car. Lots and lots of ventilation, especially for this particular car, which is a turbo. And that turbo, that heat just builds up all right here in this area. So you want to get that air, the airflow going into the car from the top, also down here to your intercooler. You just get it all through the sides. Just vent the whole engine bay out. The car stays nice and cool. You can run it at max performance, okay? Once again, beautiful car. I'll take some pictures of this car and then I'll add that to the video in just a second.